You look... Don't say tired. You've lived long enough to know you should never tell a woman she looks tired. You won't make it that far, so be a good little boy and get back into bed. If I had a quid for every time a woman's tried that line on me... You'd have, like, no money. Well, I bet to differ. Some women actually find me quite charming. I'd have thought your time with me would inspire a more careful selection of company you keep. We're leaving. The painter, the music, the crowd. This is the night we met. You remember every detail? You must have made an impression. You know very well you did. I'm going to ask you one last time. Give me the white oak. Am I right? Davina. Well, that was rather rude. Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Camille. Don't, don't do that, that crooked smile thing, okay? I haven't seen you for months, and now you're appearing out of the blue? You realize this is your doing? Your attempt to manipulate me played right into our enemy's hands. And I said, I'm sorry. Your apologies won't bring back what's been lost. Then shut up and let Vincent track down that witch. Well, where do you think you're going? I want to find her just as much as you do, but I cannot concentrate. Not with this pointless bicker. Hey, look at me. I'm okay. Did it occur to you the immense danger you placed yourself in? You were almost killed. I would have been. Thank God I had my dark objects. You're on edge. And you're trespassing. You can't just come, I mean, Klaus, seriously. I didn't come here to quarrel. I came to offer you a gift. Maybe in exchange for one of our little chats. Fine, if you want to talk it through, come back tomorrow. I'm afraid I need to talk about it now. No. No, you don't get to just come into my house uninvited. Well, you already invited me in once, love, so technically... Don't do that. Don't be so flippant and self-absorbed. And you just barge in here and start mouthing off orders? Mere hours after you lecture me about boundaries, and here you are at my house in the middle of the night. I came through the front door. You appeared through the window like a creeper. It's Cammy. I assume you called first. I've been told turning up at someone's home uninvited could be considered rude. Well, for tonight, I'd like you to stay here, where I can protect you. Do you remember when we first met? We were so damaged, manipulative. People were just things that you used to get what you wanted. <laughs> it's a harsh appraisal, though I admit accurate. She wanted to show me you were more than that. It's lovely, save for the incessant parade of inebriated buffoons. Should have omitted them when I conjured this. You don't get to delete the details that annoy you. If you love something, you have to accept the good with the bad. I prefer to shape reality to my will. Even you don't get to micromanage the world. Besides, it's an unhealthy impulse. It is for those who defy me. <laughs> Wait in the car, you said. I'll be right back, you said. Did I not sufficiently explain to you the urgency of this endeavor? You're the one who hijacked my afternoon to drag me along to this revenge fantasy of yours. Excuse me if I need a drink to take off the edge before the killing begins. So that's your plan, is it? Apply me with alcohol and then prattle on until I'm convinced to leave Davina and Michael alone to plot my death. No. My plan is to listen. I had to hitchhike and then run on the back roads of the bayou. Well, your perseverance is duly noted. Oh, shut up. I am so mad at you, I can hardly speak. But I am here, and it is to tell you, under no circumstances will you hurt that girl. Do you understand me? You have my word. <sighs> there she is. Traitor to my family, thief of that which is mine. Don't be dramatic. Like I said, I just wanted your attention, and seeing as you're here, I'd say I got it. Yes, a rather effective tactic. One I usually reserve for enemies, and here I thought we were intimates. We are. But relationships are built on trust and equality, and we don't have either if you're confiscating my stuff. What, that's like a third of them? So, would you like a third of the white oak? Are you really gonna do this? But you can't execute someone without, you know, due process. Are we really going to have a legal debate about this? You don't have to kill him. Camille, so eager to keep me from a mistake I might regret. It means more than you know. Perfect day at a corner cafe. You really outdid yourself. 
And then tomorrow, when you're recovered, we can travel anywhere you like. Perhaps we'll go to Santorini for some Vincento or to Rome. Perfect espresso. <laughs> I wish I had known you were such a romantic. I wouldn't have played so hard to get. Camille, I need your help. <sighs> Hello, Klaus. Hello, Camille. Thank you so much for convincing my furious siblings to join my Machiavellian plan. Yeah, that was good times. Oh, what did you say? How is my neck? It's healed. Thank you so much for asking. Now, you were saying... I think you need to calm down, count to ten, focus on your breathing. Is this amusing to you? I have killed many, many people for far less than what you've done. What do you want me to say, Klaus? Thank you for not killing me? I've already compelled some people to go and kill him. That's a joke, right? It doesn't have to be. Don't kill anyone for me, please. <laughs> Whatever you want. I am sorry. I am. But if you had just listened to me, we wouldn't be here right now. It's the same story with you, Klaus. For a thousand years, you, you control, you manipulate, you do whatever you need to do to get your way. And I'm not gonna be a part of it anymore. I don't care how high the risk is. Answer your bloody phone, would you? What? 